Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're going to dig into the differences between two high-performance single-tower coolers, the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo versus the Noctua NH-U12A. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. The Arctic Freezer is a sleek and compact cooler that enhances any setup with a single-tower design, featuring two 120 millimeter fans and four exposed heat pipes. This cooler offers a touch of style with various color accents available, including black, white, red, and yellow. The NHU-12A is also a single tower cooler with seven heat pipes and two premium 120mm NF-A12X25 fans. This cooler is offered in the traditional Noctua colors along with a sleek black design. In regards to insulation, the NHU-12A is easy to install. However, the Arctic Freezer's novel insulation design can prove to be challenging at times, but we know you're here to see how these two coolers perform, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Arctic Freezer in blue has slightly better cooling than the U12A in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the performance differences are minimal across the board, while both maintain a similar noise profile. And as we turn up the heat to overclock levels of 125 watts, we can see that this trend holds. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the Arctic Freezer provides slightly better cooling for a given noise level. As we pump up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Arctic Freezer maintains its advantage at the lower decimals. However, this difference shrinks to minimal levels as the noise level approaches 42 decimals. And when we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that this relationship maintains. And if you're curious on how the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo does against a top budget cooler, the AK620, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.